Sure, rank is the next big thing coming to WordPress SEO. It is a very powerful and yet simple and intuitive plugin that will let you set up all the SEO settings in your website. In this video, we're going to explore together the beta version, which is still in development right now, and it looks already very promising. The most interesting feature is the fact that we can use AI to resolve all the issues about SEO on our website in a very intuitive and easy way. The dashboard also looks very nice and clean, and without further ado, let's dive in. My name is Pascal and I'm the creator of WP Rose, the YouTube channel and website where I share with you my passion and knowledge about WordPress. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. If you want to support my work, you have two free actions that you can do. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below by telling me what are your feelings about Shore Rank and if you want, share with me where are you watching this video from in the world. And now let's explore Shore Rank together. If you want to test Shore Rank plugin with me, you can go to the homepage, you fill in the form here, you click on get beta now, and you will be accessing the beta file to download and test it. You will then receive this email. You can use this link here to download sure rank beta version, or if you prefer, you can even launch a demo site by clicking on this direct link here. This will simply launch a new free installation of WordPress with the sure rank beta pre-installed for you. So when I install sure rank, this is the first screen that we see. Let's go and see what happens here. Set up your site's SEO easily. No advanced skills needed. That's good to know. Identify and fix SEO issues effortlessly. Effortlessly. <laughs> Analyze and track website's performance in search engines. Optimize website for better rankings. Of course, this is the main thing that I want to do. Use AI to optimize my website. Good to know. Enjoy an easy, simple setup. Okay, let's go and see how this works. Mm, I like it. It looks like they're using uh, short forms here. It looks the same design. This website represents personal business organization, let's say business website. Organization type is gonna be a uh, corporation, NGO, educational, let's say educational organization. Oh, I'm, I'm really starting, I'm just starting out of the box, I'm starting to like this plugin, I don't know why. <laughs> I like the UI, the interaction. Website name, nature adventure, phone number optional, I would not provide it. Website logo, okay, let's go and choose a logo here. Let's say that this is my logo. And okay, it's choose, okay, image needs to be 112 pixels per 112 pixel, pixels or larger. Okay, this is a squared image, it works fine. Let's go and select about uh, page. This is my about page. Oh, select the content form, okay. It's uh, individuated automatically for me. It works very well. Let's click on next. Social profiles. Okay, here I can enter all my social profiles. And we'll just add a few of them and see if it will work like this, just to have some placeholders here. Let's go and click on next. First name, last name, and this is the email. Okay, just one last step. Help us tailor your sure rank experience and keep uh, you updated with SEO tips and blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, why not? Get notified. Finish. So you're good to go. You successfully set up Rank Matt, the first step to SEO success, and your site is ready. Now let's optimize your website for its search engines. Fix SEO issues, analyze your website, optimize your content. Let's ex explore this together. I am exploring this right uh, together with you in this moment. Connect to Search Console now, continue without connecting to Search Console. What we do? We connect? We connect? Yes, why not? Okay, let's continue here. Mm -hmm. Let's select all, continue. And now we have connected our Search Console account, but we have to select the property. In this case, there are no site properties. Okay. Okay, so here it says no verified site found. Add and verify your site in Google Search Console to start seeing insights here. So basically this is working a little bit differently as uh, Rank Math does, for example, because if I remember correctly, Rank Math creates the site property for you into the Search Console. Yeah, I believe so. And uh, so I would love to see this in Rank, in Sure Rank 2. Let's go and learn more. Of course, here we have the tutorial to be able to create a property into our Search Console. Let's do it. Okay, so let's go and verify. Okay, now I've placed the file to recognize, to connect with the Search Console. I will verify this. Okay, let's wait a few seconds. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so now, so now my website is connected with the Search Console. And I also believe that here, 
I'm going to be able to see my property. Okay, if, if I do not see it immediately, maybe I just need to reload the page. Okay, so I just emptied the cache. I purge all my cache and uh, it's finally recognized that I have a website connected to my search console. I can proceed now and voila, I still see nothing right now because uh, it is uh, uh, this website has just been connected. Um, generally speaking, um, I must say that I, yeah, I like this dashboard. It looks uh, pretty neat and cool. And um, I would like to test it for the next months and see what happens. Now, this is the main dashboard and we see that we have the side search traffic in the last 90 days. Okay, no data, no data available, of course, because it's connecting now to the, it's just connected to the search console and uh, my website is new. So it's going to collect some data in the next months. We have the content performance. Okay, I'm very curious to know what I will see here. And the content gap, this is also very interesting. Unlock competitor insights with content gap. Discover the topics your competitor is ranked for, but you're missing. Find high traffic opportunities and close the gap with data-backed content strategies. Wow, beautiful. But here I believe that there is no pricing page yet, coming soon, of course. Yes, we have to wait for a little while. And um, we also can extend our website with, yes, these are some upsells to other plugins from the Shore family. We then have the quick access to the support, to the help center and so on. Okay, so this is the main dashboard. I like it, it is pretty minimalistic and uh, I would love to see here a little bit more widgets and also a little bit of level of customizations maybe in the future. We will see. We have here two issues detective. So this is basically the SEO analysis. And uh, I, I wonder if the, this is the only link that I have to access this page here, because uh, when I'm here on my dashboard, uh, I would like to see if there is another way to access this website analysis, because it is a little bit too, I think it is a little bit too hidden here, up, up here. We have the home page set as no indexable. Okay, this is critical, of course. We have search engine visibility is blocked by WordPress settings. Great, because it is just a tutorial website, so I'm not indexing it. I, will, I think I will test this plugin now in a real life example. But um, before, I just wanted to have a look to it, of course. And since it's still in beta, I wanted to look at it with you and also know what you think about it in the comments below, because I think that uh, it is pretty interesting. I love the fact that the UI is very clean and uh, uh, how do you say, very, very, there is a lot of white space. I like this, I like this, yeah. We can also see now how to fix all the different uh, stuff. This is pretty interesting, the fact that AI can automatically fix a lot of stuff inside here. Wow, this is huge, this is huge, <laughs> beautiful. And uh, so basically I, I believe that here for many of uh, this um, warnings, I can have a quick link to the page where this is happening or to the element where the warning is, uh, has been detected and I can also ask AI to fix it. Wow, this is huge, okay, awesome. Then let's go and uh, continue to explore all the other stuff. We have a quick link here to all the news coming to the plugin. So this is a way, great way to stay informed about all the new features coming to a rank, uh, so ra sure rank. We have a quick link to the knowledge beta. Okay, knowledge base, that's awesome. And um, we can search here. We can search between, uh, we can search where, where, where I can search here. What, what happens here when I search, let's say for example, uh, contact. Okay, no results. Well, if I search for general, Oh yes, it's it, let me search into into different plugin settings. I I I, get, I believe. So for example, if I go to the on page general settings, it stays in the rank mat and uh, it guides me to the settings. Oh, this is beautiful. I really love the fact that I can search and go and find out all about uh, the settings of the plugin. Let's go in social. Social. I want to change my social e icons, uh, social media uh, links. I can go here and change them really quickly. If I go and type Facebook, let's see how granular this is gonna be. Wow, I can go directly here and update my Facebook page, wow. And uh, if AI will be very, very uh, deeply integrated here, I also would love to have an AI agent that can perform any kind of task for me inside the plugin. This can be very interesting. I don't know if they are working on it, but uh, this can be a very interesting thing because it can already do it, it will be able to do it because we saw here that when we go here, we can ask AI to fix all the errors that are present on our website. But I don't know if the agent can navigate all to the settings of the plugin and uh, make changes for me. This 
this could be a very interesting thing to experiment. So basically here we have the general tab where we can uh, set up the titles and descriptions. I also la love the fact that there are some variables here. And here there is a preview. Wow, this looks beautiful. I really like the design here. <laughs> very, very nice. Well done because uh, I, I love I love this uh, this preview here. We have uh, all the variables as always. So I guess that if I type, yes, this, I can see all the variables, tagline, term, title, post title, post excerpt, post URL, current date. Hmm, current year is there? I believe so. Yeah, current. If I go current year, okay. This is going to show the current year in the description. Wow, beautiful. Let's save. Wow, great UI this for this button here. We have all the social media links. Uh, we can uh, yeah, connect here a default social media image to show it uh, to our visitors when we share our website on social media. We have the homepage settings here that we can edit, of course, in the homepage. We have the social settings here. What does it mean, this social homepage? I don't know. But anyway, this is going to redirect me to the homepage. And then we have the archive pages. We can enable author archive or enable data archive. Then there is the advanced tab here where we can go and see all the robot instructions. This is actually quite handy. We can choose if you want to no index some post types, very useful this one, some taxonomies or even some archives. Okay, that's great. Yes, I would love here to be able also to type and uh, assign the no index tag to some specific pages maybe. Uh, this could be interesting. Then we go to sitemap and here we can go and generate an XML sitemap. Okay, let's go and watch it in action. This is great, works well. And I would love here also to have the ability to create a simple HTML sitemap or even just a page, a simple uh, page sitemap, <laughs> because uh, Rank Matt has this option and it is pretty useful. Then we have also the schema. We can uh, manage all the schema that we have enabled on our website here. Of course, we can apply them to a single page or post level, but here we can manage them globally. So this is great. We can configure all the elements that should be part of the specific schema, for example, here the website one then we have also some other schema that we can add here i believe that they're working on new schemas because uh yeah there there are some of them missing right here but this is quite a good uh, starting point let's go and have a quick look to posts let's go to the post list okay we have some uh, dummy content here and we see that we have the page seo checks okay let's click it oh this is nice this is very nice we can go and see here, uh, have a quick overview of uh, all the checks. And I also, yes, believe that here there's gonna be the way to take action in the future. Because right now here, we do not have some call to actions to fill this, to fix this errors, for example. It would be great to be able to edit the alt text, for example, here, or just jump in and uh, resolve these issues right here. Now let's go to the homepage and see how this plugin will integrate into the homepage. I go and edit my page. I love also the icon here, the, um, the logo of uh, rank, uh, of sure rank. Okay, so here we have the meta, meta. Okay, this is how this website is going to look for, for search engines. And uh, I must say that this is very clear and easy to understand and very easily readable for, uh, even for a non-expert. This is how the site will look on Facebook and on X. Okay, then we have the advanced tab here. Let's see what happens in the advanced tab. Okay, yeah, I would love to have the no index option uh, a little bit more handy because sometimes I have some pages that I do not need to index on my website and uh, the fact that this is hidden here in the advanced tab maybe is not very convenient, but anyway, this is pretty interesting. Uh, okay, let's go and see the schema. Okay, we can go and uh, see all the schemas that are in use in this page. So this basically are the structures that will let uh, Google recognize the, the content of our page in a better way. And uh, this, the fact that we use a schema on our pages will also enhance the possibilities that we can also get rich snippets and all sorts of rich results data when users search for our content on the internet, of course. And we can also add more schema here. We have all different kind of options. For example, if we are uh, selling books, sometimes here we can see the books schema, but at the, at the moment, uh, at the present, in the present moment, <laughs> they are not um, providing them because I believe that they are still working on all different schemas to add them and uh, to be available right here. You have online courses schema, you, you got uh, review schema, you got books schema, and many other uh, kind of schema that you can add to your pages. This is interesting anyway. And also the fact that maybe we can ask AI to configure them for us, it would be 
very nice. This is good, you see all the uh, schemas here are pre-filled uh, pre, uh, for you. We can also go inside here and add some content if we want. And uh, based on your settings here, all the different uh, content here will be uh, filled. This is good, good to know, good to see. Okay, one issue need attention, please pass checks. Okay, this is a warning. One or more images on this page are missing all text attributes. Uh, I would love here to be able to link directly to the media folder, uh, to the media gallery here to be able to edit it because uh, it is pretty uh, useless, the fact that I click on the image and I see the image and stop. <laughs> but I also guess that here, this is just in the works. For the rest, I really love the design and all the settings that are coming to Shore Rank. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this new SEO plugin for WordPress. I'm pretty excited about it because I love the design, the UI, and the direction that they are taking also with the AI agent that's gonna be integrated inside the plugin. And uh, I'm curious to know how this plugin will develop in the future. And uh, I'm also curious to know how they will address now the little UI experience uh, issues that I had. And um, yes, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you do not have anything to share with me in the comments, please just tell me where are you watching this video from in the world? My name is Pascal. This YouTube channel is called WP Roads. I also have a website, wproads.com, where you can find all my tutorials, reviews, and the list of my favorite WordPress tools that you can explore if you want to grow your WordPress business. Now I will leave you here with two of my latest videos. I hope that you will watch this one or maybe also this one. You can choose. <laughs> you can subscribe here if you want. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. And until then, I wish you all the best with your WordPress projects. Ciao, ciao.